Good morning, I'd like to introduce you to today's video. Uh, I'm going to show you how I painted the painting over my shoulder, which is Winterton Beach in Norfolk. I really loved painting the shadows, so this is what I wanted to, to convey, the really strength of that shadows on the beach. This painting was created using a big brush technique, uh, which is exactly what it sounds. I painted using lots of big brushes, so there was not a huge amount of detail. Just right at the end, there was a couple of little, uh, little moments, but most of it was painted with nice big chunky brushes. I hope you enjoy. If you've got any questions, please put them into the comments, and also, as ever, please subscribe. Thank you. This sketch was done for me to determine how much of the original image that I was going to include in the painting. So that's what those little lines around it are. It's just me making decisions and it's much easier to do this on a sketch than it is on the huge painting that I was working on. The first stage of the painting is blocking in. So I've used my largest brush and I'm trying to make sure that I've got everything where I want it to be on the canvas. I'm then working from the background forwards, so I've repainted the sky and put some detail into there. I'm still using my big brushes, so when I've painted the headland it's just using the corners of the brushes and the sides of the brushes uh, to give me quite an indistinct but a, a light effect in that background. And one of the things I liked about this view was the fact that the horizon is just about lost. There are some things that I think really make a difference to a painting and light is always one of them which is the whole premise of this painting in the first place. But here I'm adding some light to the cliff top um, and I think it's these little bits that just really lift a painting. Although this is a big brush painting, uh, there's no reason why you can't build up texture and tone and detail. It just prevents you from getting too bogged down into minutiae and little bits of information that particularly in the background of a painting uh, don't really need to be there. It doesn't look as though a lot is happening here, but what I'm doing is building up my layers, trying to get the texture, trying to get uh, the depth within the painting. I'm still not going for detail. This is the whole point of this painting is that it's loose and it's simple. Um, but I do want to create a richness to it. Um, so that's why I spend quite a bit of time uh, building up these layers. As is quite typical with a lot of acrylics and oil paintings, I'm working from the background forward. So having got the headland in a state that I'm quite happy with it, I'm going to start working a little bit closer to me now. So I need to work over the layers that I'd put down on the beach. I need to start defining my shadows and start building that light that I really wanted to have on the sand.
When I'm picking up uh, the colours for putting down the light on the beach, um, I'm using, typically, I've obviously got some white in there, there's some yellow ochre. I would quite often use a little bit of Naples yellow in there. Um, but something that's very, very typical of the way I paint, I use muck off the palette. So there's bits of the colours that I've been using in the headland, in the sea and in the sky. There's not very many of them, uh, but I think it really adds a cohesion to the painting. And I want the uh, sand to have lots of little shades and tones within it. progress so far and I'm beginning to get the variety of tones that I want to have in the sand itself on the light but I haven't built those into the shadows yet so this is where we need to go the shadows and the uh, foreground cliffs. As with the background and the headland that we painted I'm going to be putting this down with quite a lot of layers quite similar but we're trying to build again that richness and that depth to the painting. While I've got these shadow colours on my brush and on my palette uh, I'm going to use some of them along the edge of the water to give me that suggestion of the damp sand right along the water's edge. It's time to go back to my biggest brush, which is a three inch paddle brush. And I'm putting down, just again, just building that brightness in the foreground and building the texture uh, on the sand. Now I'm working into the shadows on the sand and putting in uh, a variety of colours and textures uh, and just keeping it moving really. For the first time I'm now going over to a smaller brush uh, and what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to create little patches of light and little patches of shadow and what I want to represent is all the movement of the surface of the sand. It's never flat and smooth, it's got lots of ripples and textures from footprints and the wind and birds going, walking across it. So there's, there's so many different planes and surfaces on the sand so this is what I'm trying to create here. My final details on this painting are a couple walking along the water's edge with their dog. My name is Denise Allen. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed watching the progress of this painting. So please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.